what is up guys long time no see i'm just getting my boots on lots to update you guys on as it's been almost eight months since my last homesteading video um and i think one of the last ones was when i was planting blueberries and prior to that was when we first got um our chickens we first got the three girls so so much to update you guys on but before i do a full just update video today the guys are back there building a goat pen so i wanted to jump back into this and um show you guys what we got going on and then in my next video i'll do a nice recap for you so kind of update of what we've been up to the last eight months what are y'all doing now well now we're going to cut down this old roofing that we got from our house when the tree fell on the roof uh-huh and uh we're going to cut it down to size and put it on the top of our goat house that we're cool. getting for cassie's goats whoop, whoop. merry yep. christmas to me i like it i like the outfit more athlete athlete Oh, and the other update is this sweet little bundle of joy. He's just over one week old as I'm filming this. So this is Cooper Brooks and yep, one week old. All right, so here's the back. We've done a decent amount of work back here, especially with the Gravely. Um, really just able to clear up so much. We've got some brush piles and burn piles here. Um, there's our chicken area and we got fenced, we got it fenced in and this is where the goats will go. So this is the fence we got by Man's Tractor and Fence. If you are local, highly recommend. Um, we got it done for our goats knowing that we were going to get them. Um, and then just on each of the corners, it has the wooden posts. We were going to do wooden, um, slats and like crosses all the way around but that was going to be entirely too expensive so we've still got the two coops in there they go in there at night and then we let them just free range in this big fenced in area all day hey sister hey girls there's our rooster he can be a bit of a bully but he's pretty nice he can be a little bit of a strong yeah this is one of the coops we keep them open all day and then close them up at night. These are some of our new ladies. We got six new girls yesterday. Maybe she's laying us an egg. Um, and then we recently, hold on, I'll get your shoe in just a sec, sure. Recently just got these water troughs just from Tractor Supply. And again, this is that dog kennel that- chickens from Tractor Supply? No, we adopted all of our girls as adults. We didn't start with baby chicks. Um, you can only get baby chicks from Tractor Supply. We adopted all of our girls from people that were just, you know, downsizing their flock. Or their other more janky one that we got off Amazon. But the girls actually love it. Um, and I call it janky because we had to wrap this. Don't, don't let that poop fall on you. We had to wrap the chicken wire ourselves. Um, and we didn't really have enough. So we had to use some other stuff that we had on hand. And we had to zip tie it. And we haven't even clipped it all so it just looks a little janky but they actually love it and we just added the tarp over it from amazon too um i can't reach it honey and then this is the feet you can't reach it either this is the feeder that we use so we just got a um big trash bucket or whatever you want to call it a trash can and added these pvc pipes and just cut out um, a little circle and stuck them in there so then they can just get the, they stick their little head in there and get the feed out themselves. And we have to come out and regularly like shake it, make sure it stays full. Watch your head. Um, but they're able to get it. And then right now for roost bars, we just have the cinder blocks with the sticks in the middle. So nothing fancy, you guys. Chickens don't need anything fancy or expensive. They literally poop on everything. So, um, the less fancy and less money the better what baby see that's how she does it she just sticks her head in there and eats I saw her. here's the pallet goat goat house nice Oh, perfect. So we have enough bricks to go all the way around. I should. They're following us, Char. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> Where y'all think we're going? We don't have treats. Where do they think we're going, Shar? Maybe, um, home? Home? They think we have treats for them. So what are y'all doing now? We are cutting these two by fours so that we can lay them across our roof and then we'll attach the metal tin or the tin to it. Okay. And we're going old school with the hand saws. Yeah, we don't back have here. We, we don't have power. power. We don't have power way back here. We do have our hand pump shallow well. Too bad you don't need any water. So how many do you have to do going across? Just a couple. Uh, okay, and you've oh, got it coming. Four? They've got it coming Maybe up more? so it can, you know, the rain can drip off. Yep. The mosquitoes are out. We'll be able to get the mower behind here. Yeah. So that'll be good. Yeah. Let's see, so we put the screws in here. So that if you put it down here, this is where all the water flows, yep. but it never flows up here, so right. you gotta put your screws on well, top. Well, and they do overlap, too. These they do, overlap. yeah. So this will be our spot pretty much right in that area. Are you a goat, wow. Shar? Oh, wow. <laughs> How cool is this? Our goats are gonna live in here. This is the house. Yeah, this is where they're gonna, that's uh, this is, so, Everything in here is stuff that we found on the property or that we found just for free. The pallets, the bricks were all on the property. This is our old roof from when the tree landed on the roof. Uh, so this is essentially caught a, cost us nothing except a little bit of time and some hard work. Thanks to How Papa long did Lawn. it take you? This took us a little over two hours, so not bad at all. And what did you do how many pallets did you use and so, just quick rundown of yeah. what you did you can come out of we the house five pallets okay um put them all on cinder blocks so that they're off the ground so we still have a few more to fill in yeah. right so that it's off the ground um and then just use a bunch of different boards and to give it a slope put the metal roof on we yeah, cut baby. to the right size so it's got a little bit of overhang for the rain and that's it man they're, uh, they're going to be happy in here.